my friends. Welcome. It's been two weeks. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, my name is Candace. This is Floss Tube 79. And it's been two weeks. So I might forget a thing or two. I hope not. But I might. Uh, if you're new here, hi. Welcome. Uh, if you're returning, thanks for coming back and seeing what I've done in the last two weeks. Uh, it's not a ton because I got kind of lazy this last weekend. Um, obviously, snow apocalypse happened. Um, I recorded back on January 27th. So we ended the month of January, started February. We got so much snow. It was amazing. My kids probably have played outside more in the last two weeks than they have their entire lives like as far as playing in the snow um we just haven't the last couple years we haven't had really good play outside snow it was either super wet and gone the next day or it was super cold and drifting and windy this time it was pretty darn perfect you'll probably hear the dogs i apologize i'm upstairs again um this just seems to work out better as far as the light Although I don't have that light on, so I guess we'll see how this goes with no light. I have the daylight. And a cat staring at me. That's Whiskers. Oh, it's kind of dark. Zoe's up there sleeping. That's Whiskers. So, yeah. Now I messed it all up. There we go. We'll see how that works. Uh, so anyway... Yeah, lots of snow. Lots and lots of snow. So let's uh, do a quick wrap up of January. Um, mini home for the winter, looks like this, was my focus for January. So this is the full coverage piece that I focused on. Um, I did work on some other pieces a little bit here and there if there were challenges. There's like cat hair in this. Um, but overall, I worked on mini home for the winter. So, I think I'm fairly certain I still have the picture from two weeks ago where I was. So, this is where I was two weeks ago. And mini home for the winter, I did 11,351 stitches for the month of January. So... I don't know. There's comparison. Get my face out of the way. <laughs> so there's where we are. I might need to turn the light on. There's weird shadows. Hold on. Let me. Hopefully this is still plugged in. Maybe. Oh, it is. There we go. Uh, okay, we'll try that. Does that look better? Hopefully. So yeah, a little over 11,000 stitches in January. So excited. So excited. Um, just over 20%. Um... I am putting this away for February. I picked a different focus for February, but I figure if I can do almost 10, or over 10,000 stitches, I can finish one of my full coverage pieces. So, okay, so that one was mini home for the winter. And then I had to finish a January finish that was not a Mill Hill. Hands on design. And this is Let's Talk Winter. Now, I did not use the black fabric. I used um, aqua writ dyed fabric. Uh, here's where it was last time. I think I only, if I have a picture of it, I only had the snow globe and a little bit left to do. And there we go. So it is done. Done, done, done. I love it. I love it on the blue. 
So obviously it changed colors from what was called for. Um, the white is, the white's B5200. And then I used some hand dyes just from stash. I mean, you know, I pulled two stash greens. I pulled a stash brown, um, orange or red. I love it though. It looks really good. I like it. So that's a finish. Now I can give this bag to a different project. Probably the um, the upcoming uh, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe stitch one from oh. Stitching Book Club. If they still have um, copies available, it's on Etsy. So just look Stitching Book Club on Etsy for the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. It starts this Saturday, the 12th. So we'll all throughout the day be getting emails. Um so that we can get that started. So, yay for finish. Okay. So, a little, just a little numbers. My, so mini home for the winter, I did 11,351 stitches. Um, overall, because I'm counting stitches for different challenges, I've basically counted every stitch I've put in. Which is not a big deal to me. It's, I like counting stitches, it's easy. I know it's not for everyone. Um, so January's total number of stitches was 24,853. That's a lot of stitches. A lot of stitches. Okay, so February. We have a couple things going on in February. Um, Whipco number five is When Life is Done from Silver Creek Samplers. And my goal on that is a finish. Or no, it was to finish the words. So I pulled that out right off the bat in February. If I can find the cover page here. So this is what that looks like. This is a memorial piece for my dad. And then I did my own color conversion. So here's where I was last time. I think I've been pointing to the wrong side. Here's where I was last time. Whatever. Does it matter? You guys know. You'll see it. This is on a 28 count um, Picture This Plus Lugana in vellum. Oh my gosh, that's a that's a heck of a crease right there in the middle. So, I got the words done. Not only did I get the words done, but I got the two cardinals, two hearts, and most of the vine on that one side. I freaking love this. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's so amazing. I feel... You know, it's a memorial piece, so I didn't know what kind of emotions that would bring up. My dad passed away um, a couple years ago from cancer. So I didn't really know what how I was going to feel stitching this. I didn't know if it was going to be hard or if it, you know, was going to bring back great memories. Um, I really do think about my dad every stitch that I put into this. So... Um, I'm having a lot of fun stitching on it. A lot of fun. All I have left for here is the other green that's in these leaves. And then I have the girl, the headstone, and the ground. So the ground is what's going to take forever because it's like... I mean, the girl and the ground and the tombstone. Because it's all very dense stitching. Words are easy. But that's... I really wanted to get like a good um, chunk of this done because I do want to have it done um, by my dad's birthday. My dad, um, his birthday would have been April 18th. So um, I still got, you know, a little over two months to finish the rest of it. So I'll work on it. I'll still work on it this month, likely, even though I met my WIPCO goal. Um, because my other WIPCO goal was... 
uh, 2,000 stitches on mini home for the winter. And I'm actually going to do that, I think, the third week of February. One of the challenges for um, semi-seam stitchers is it's called It's Bappening. And it's to put 1,000 stitches in on a piece that matches the prompt. And it's just 1,000 stitches for that week. So there's four different prompts, one for each week. The first week's prompt I used mini citrine for, which I'll show you in a second. Um, I think I have mini citrine down for the second week and then mini home for the winter for the third. I can't remember exactly, but. Um, so I will get my 2,000 stitches in on that, whichever week I had set for that one. All right. And then we had a finish because Mill Hill Monday uh, th I think this is where I was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was doing it on the wrong side, guys. You lose it when you, when you miss a week or you miss, you know, your two weeks, however often you film, when you miss one, it messes you all up. So this was, um, Amethyst Crystal. This is what it looks like and where I was before. And, um... It's all finished. It's so pretty. The um, perforated paper is a really light purple, like a lilac. And then we've got white and purple beads, clear bugles, and then white and purple stitches. So this one was super fast because there was only two colors of um, thread for this one. So that one is done. And once again, if you guys missed um, when I talked about my Mail Hill stuff, I'm going to finish them all at the same time. I'm doing all of the, the crystals. So this past Monday, oh, there it is. <laughs> Where did it go? So since I finished that one this past Monday, I pulled out a new one. And this is Gold Crystal. So this one's got three colors of um, golden thread, and I got all the stitching done. This is on white perforated paper, but I have all the stitches done, so I just need to do the beads. And there are the beads. So there are, uh, let's see, so we have like some pearlized gold beads, some more clear gold beads, and then gold bugles, it looks like. So I will do that next Monday. These things are so fast, too. Super fast. Oh, goodness. Dogs are playing. Okay. Let's see. So I worked on, starting on February 1st, I started working on mini citrine. Looks like this. Which is going to be my focus for, um, dogs are playing. My focus for February. Now, I had, when I started this on February 1st, I had less than 10,000 stitches to go. Um, so here's where I was at the beginning of the month. There we go. There's where I am now. So, I know it might be kind of hard to tell, but I got a bunch... Roscoe! ay ay ay. Okay, so I got a bunch done in the sky. And I'm just working on... There was one color that I finished off, and then I started working on another color. All down in here and then I started working that same color in her dress here so um, everything from here up is done and then I have you know some bits of sky that you can see and then her dress and that's it so I did let's see she's so pretty I love her you can just look at her for a minute a little over 2,000 stitches so far on her for this month. 
So I had it figured out that if I did just over 300 stitches a day, I would have it done because there's only 28 days in February. Um, so I'm probably about 200 stitches behind right now, but only because I didn't stitch at all this weekend. Not at all. Um, the kids and I played a lot on our switches. We were playing Pokemon stuff. So I didn't do a whole lot of stitching, but that's okay. Because I'll make up for it. So there she is. She's my focus and hopefully a finish for this month. All right. And then the last thing I worked on... I pulled out, and I only worked on this just yesterday. This is the Fox. This is Cottage Garden Samplings. This is their um, A Year in the Woods series. Now, here's the thing. I was all, yeah, I'm going to do all 12 of them. I don't know why FOMO hits so hard when things like this come out. I love this. I was going to stitch this one no matter what. But I... um have purchased the other two and one has come and one has not I'll show you that one I don't know if I'm gonna do those ones like they don't sing to me like this one does so I don't know I I haven't fully decided yet um and this is still on the cue snap because I was gonna work on it today at work and unfortunately I got really busy I had a lot to do today which is unusual for me so this is on a 40 count um, no name color from Be Stitch Me. It's an even weave though. Here's where I was before. And I think I went over my color changes before, but I'll do it again real quick too. Okay, so there's where I am now. I love this fabric. So I'm doing one over two, and I love that how the white shows up on this. I love it. Obviously, I have like the tiniest little bit left to do in the ear right there, but <laughs> but you know, so and these aren't very big. They're very stitch heavy, but they're not very big. Um, I just. You know, I want to stitch things I love, and I don't know that I really am. I mean, I bought the next two, but who knows? Maybe I'll use them as giveaways or something. So these are the colors that I had chosen to replace some of the colors in the chart. So this dark green and this light green are the trees, and it's um, Classic Colorworks Balsam Fur and Lima Bean from Color and Cotton. And then I'm using the DMC, I think it's 3857, for the main part of the fox, the lightest color. And then I have this one, which is glazed carrots, and red fox for the two other colors. And then instead of white, I'm using, I actually I think they called for like chalk or something. I don't know. But I'm using, it's just a limited edition from Color and Cotton. Just white. So that's what I'm using. And I forgot to throw 310 in here. There's 310 in the ears. Like those little openings right there in the ears is 310. And um, I realized that I forgot to throw 310 in here. So I'll have to do that before I stitch on this again. Did I really zip that back up? So smart today. I had, I had to get out of work a little bit early because I had a dermatology appointment today. Um, all good news. None of my moles had growth spurts. So that's a bonus. <laughs> She's like, yay, see you in six months. So I always like it when I hear that because Roscoe, will you please get off of her? You're like a leech. Okay. It's in my kitty bag that I made. Meow. They're so cute. Cute kitties. Okay. Ooh. We almost had an accident. Okay. So, 
Um, as far as the rest of February, we've got focusing on mini citrine. I already told you about it's bappening. Um, this or that is a non-counting challenge in semi-scene stitchers, and I'm using when life is done for that one. Um, it's just basically if you use that and you see how much stitching you can get done. It's great for people that don't count stitches because you don't have to count anything. You post your picture at the beginning of the month. You post a picture at the end of the month. Done. Um, and then 22 and 22 is still going for no new starts. Um, I'm doing the road trip. I joined in like two. Um, no new starts is closed now, I believe, because you had to have all your stuff set by the beginning of the year. But I figure it was worth a mention. And then... Oh, and there's, I think it was like, Semi-Sane Stitchers has Movie Mania again. So much fun. You pick a movie, like, for instance, I decided I was going to do the Marvel movies in order. So I picked Captain America First Avenger. It's two hours and four minutes. So you stitch 204 stitches. And then you move on to the next one. So I was really going to town on Mini Citrine, and I was using Mini Citrine for Movie Mania. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there's a lot of movies, but for every 10 movies you stitch, you get a raffle entry into their, you know, their drawings that they do. Okay. So I had one knitting whip. Surprise, surprise. I just had a hankering to pull this out and I was like, we're going to pull it out. So, um, this is the weekender from Andrea Mowry. This is the Weekender Light, so I'm using a fingering weight yarn instead of, I believe her original was worsted or Aran weight, um, but I'm using Stroll Fingering, and this is in Barn Door Heather, and the color actually shows um, pretty darn true up here. It wasn't showing that great downstairs. Maybe I'll just record up here for now, Ma. So I do have my little marker where I was before. So you can see I got a couple inches done, like maybe two, maybe two inches. So that's what I have so far. <laughs> I know it's not like, uh, it's not going to cover much at this point, but a fingering weight sweater takes a whole lot longer, um, because thin yarn, lots of stitches, small needles. So I like this though. It's a tweed yarn, um, I'm technically I'm stitching it inside out, which is how the pattern calls for. You will wear it this, or I will wear it this way. And then it has this line down the front and the back. And it's just like a detail, but it's a slip stitch. So the way I'm stitching it, I'm knitting and then I come to that marker and I purl on one row and the next row I slip it um, with the yarn in front. So, so yeah, that's, I worked on this, uh, I think a little bit at work one day and then, oh, the other night when I was watching the Olympics. I'll be excited when this is done, but I need to focus. I think what I'm going to do is focus on one knitting project at a time and get it done because I have quite a few whips and it's not, oh, I don't know where this came from. I just found it in my lap. There's not blue in the fox. Maybe it was accidentally in my bag? I don't know. I don't know where presidential blue came from. Because I'm fairly certain there is no blue. No, there's no blue in this chart. It's a mystery. Tis a mystery. Somehow it came with me. It came with me. Oh! It goes in, um... When life is done, that's where it goes. 
It must have come out when I pulled my fabric out. That's where it goes. It's part of her dress. Okay. Mystery solved. Okay. So I got a little bit of, um, I got a little bit of mail. I did not get my Just Cross Stitch magazine for January or for April. Um, so I sent them an email. Wait, no. I didn't get my January, February one. This is April. This is the March, April one. Okay, so I'm still waiting on my Just Cross Stitch. The first one of 2022. I sent them an email and I said, hey, I didn't, because I saw other people saying they got theirs. And I waited and waited and waited. And finally, last week, I sent them an email. So they were sending me another one. But I did get the April one. I did I got it today, so I didn't have a chance to look through it yet. But I can kind of cheat and flip to the back page. Maybe. New magazine pages. And do a quick peek. And I had the same problem with every other April issue. There isn't anything I want to stitch in here. So, if you see something on this page that you look at and go, oh, I want to stitch that, then you just down below say, let me see what that one's called. It's the cover image. I think it's on page nine. Cool. There we go. Just, this is the one I was talking about. It was the one on the cover. Um, just say blue blooms. There you go. Blue blooms. And I will send this out to you. Um, I would prefer U.S. though because I can't just put this in an envelope and send it. So, um, it'll have to be in like a mailer envelope, but. If you would like this, just say blue blooms. And then hopefully next video I'll have my my beginning of the year one. I didn't get it yet. I was on the verge of canceling my So Sampler box from Fat Quarter Shop because November's and December's were extremely delayed as well as January's. And probably February's. When I say extremely delayed, I just got my November box last week. Um, the only thing is, I got this box and I friggin' like everything in it. So now I'm like, oh, should I cancel or shouldn't I? I don't know. So this is the pattern. It's called Shooting Stars. And it uses the Love Lily Petite Jelly Roll. And then you just have to get some um, fabric for the background and for the binding and for the backing. So here's the petite jelly roll. Super pretty colors. Well, here, let me show you the side without the sticker. But yeah, those are, it's very, very springy. I really like this one. Uh, it also came with Nailed it. Open thimbles. Tell you what, when I'm beading, these could come in super handy. Um, they have like, can you see? It doesn't go all the way through. They're just like, uh, indented dots. So your needle doesn't touch your finger. See, it's solid in there. But then your finger won't get sweaty like with the silicone ones. We got Cindy's Seam Ripper. And it's little, check this out. Put that in a little bag and it's like the perfect travel size. And then we got this from the Gypsy Quilter. It's um, 
it's a pin wand so it's a magnet and it will you just use it to pick up your pins they stick to here and then you can put them away you know how awesome that is you know how many times i leave pins laying around my sewing machine and then i'm worried the cats are going to get them because cats are assholes um yeah so So yeah, I'm keeping it. And then, of course, the pattern for the bright side quilt along is block eight. I have not started this yet. Um, I'm fairly certain I picked fabric for it, but I haven't started it yet. I, I haven't done any sewing this last two weeks. All right. Then, ooh, reach way over here. I got, um, this is the second pattern in A Year in the Woods. This is the Swans. I just, I don't know. I mean, I like it. I don't like their wings as much as I did in the beginning. So I don't know. I love these pine cones, though. Like, this whole background, I love. Maybe I'll keep an eye out and see if anyone changes the wings on them. We'll see. And from Hands On Design, I got the new Let's Talk Quilting. So I don't know what I'm going to, what kind, what color fabric I'm going to use yet. Um, I might pull the, because every, um, every Chalk Talk that she's done, I've used different fabric for. And I've pulled from my stash. I haven't used the called for fabric. So, um... I might see the colors in it and pick a fabric based on that. Or I might pick a fabric and then change the colors for that. I don't know yet. I got, oh, woof. A couple of pieces of fabric from 123 Stitch. This is, picture this plus, um, oh, it's Storm. I don't like their new stickers. So it's a Lugana, a 32 count. And then this one is um, Brash, 32 count Brash Lugana. I really like the modeling in this one. And it looks, it's a little more, it's a little darker than it looks on here. And then Brandy got me. Because I can't help myself with Bee Stitch Me. So this was, I believe this was the club one. I think. So this is a 32 count Lugana and it's called Coconut Shell. And it's so amazing. I have no idea if that's showing up right. But the modeling on this is... It's fantastic. Okay. Um, Fight Night. I got an 18 count blush Ada. It's more pink. It's blown out horribly. Hold on. Nah. It's a little more pink than that. Um, let's see what else. And then I got a 32 count blush linen because I figure I got to bite the bullet and try it sometime so same thing it's getting blown out it's way more pink than this um I can't <laughs> I don't think I'm ever gonna get a true pink but this feels really nice and I think with a q-snap it might be just fine to stitch on um but I just I feel like I gotta try linen sometime so, why not try it on one of Brandy's? Because I love her fabric. And then this is a 32 count Lotus Lugana. And I think I have a Lotus that I got last year. I don't know if it's... I think it's a 28, though. And this is more purple than it's showing. Hi, dogs. Hi. No. No, no, no. I'm almost done. Oh, my goodness. It's a Roscoe, guys. 
It's a Roscoe. He's wagging his tail. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. You want to say hi to the people? No? Can you say hi? Oh, my goodness. It's going to knock everything down. So, yeah, I think that's all I have for this week. Do not touch my fabric. I love you, but don't touch my fabric. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I have for this week. I have a dog who's not even in my flat yet. But I have a feeling he's coming. Hi. Big old, big old paws. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I have for this week. Thank you, guys. Oh, wait, no. I had a couple more things that I purchased. Heaven and Earth Designs is having a sale right now. Half off sale. Until Valentine's Day, I believe. Um, he's still going to keep petting this. Hold on. Ah! There, Roscoe, say hi. <laughs> he's got big old jowls. He's got big old jowls. Are you getting down? Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Thank you. Being attacked by my dog. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, here. Okay, so Heaven and Earth Design is having... I have a drool all over my chin now. Having a sale, I got two. I got Mini Flower Kitty from Jeremiah Kentner. And Quick Stitch Dream Lily. And I had written down the designer's name, and I cannot remember. The only thing I remember is her last name is K-U-I-K. But um, I love this because I love purple. I, I I don't know. Who knows when I'll stitch it. I don't have any plans to start either of those right this second. Um, because I am doing 22 and 22, but I got those. And then, like two or three weeks ago, Satsuma Street had a sale on their Etsy. It, I follow him on Instagram and I saw the post about a sale and I was like, yo. So I got Garden Cat, which I love. And um, Peace Tree, I got it in silver. It comes in two different color variations. But you stitch it on perforated paper in like three or four parts. And then you they tell you how to finish it in the pattern so that you can hang it up. And you have this, like, awesome little, like, holiday or winter tree. It just looks so cool. So, I'll probably um, work those into things as I get things finished. Since I am doing 22 and 22, I can't just start something willy-nilly. I have to actually finish something to start something. So, what? Hi. Oh, you gonna say bye to the people? Huh? You gonna say bye to the people? Oh boy, here he comes. Yep. Hi. This is Roscoe. He's not small. I mean, he's not huge, but he thinks he's a lap dog. In this chair, not so much. If I had the ottoman over here, he would be. Look, Roscoe. Hey, Roscoe. He's a good boy. He just wants to play. Right? You just want to play? All right. Down you go. Ready? <sighs> Bella likes the ball. I'll talk to you guys next week. Oh, all the giveaways were sent out, but later than I thought, thanks to the snowstorm. I mean, we didn't even get mail for two days. There was no way I was getting to the post office. So they have been sent. They're on their way. So if you were looking for one of the giveaways, if you were one of the winners, they are in the mail. Thank you. Oh. Uh, and then if you want the newest Just Cross Stitch magazine from the one that says April 2022, just say Blue Blooms. Um, that's all I can think of right now. I'm sure I'll remember something after I stop recording, but I will see you guys next week. Have a fabulous week. I'll talk to you later. Bye.